think we're ready for health today being Friday, April 3rd. All right, let's start on page 40 today. We're going to go through 40 to 45, and then you'll have just a little short comprehension check. Questions, page 45, okay? Looking on page 40, color the foods that contain vitamin C. Well, you should have probably colored everything except for the meat, the bread, the cheese, the mushrooms, okay? So everything else should have been covered, colored, the fruits and the vegetables. You have examples of foods there. Kiwi, broccoli, tomatoes, oranges, strawberries, um, pear, a lemon, a pepper, banana, and the blueberries. So that's what you should have colored. So if you can remember vitamin C, be in the fruits and vegetables group, okay? But we need to make sure that it helps our immune system, helps us to stay healthy. Your matching, if you've not done it, you can go ahead and fill these in. I mean, remember, you know, as we move along, we will be doing quizzes and tests. So just try to be sure you're keeping up, okay? Um, matching, number one, helps the nervous system function properly. B, the B vitamins. Number two, found in citrus fruits, C, vitamin C, see the word citrus, vitamin C, match those two, helps you see well even at night, vitamin A, if you want to remember vitamin A comes from animals, some animals can see well at night, I don't know how you want to remember those, um, helps change food into energy, B vitamins, yes, and number five, found in foods that come from animals. A, vitamin A comes from animals. All right, so let's look at page 41. We're going to discuss some more vitamins today. Terms to remember, rickets, a disease that causes bones to become soft and bend. Minerals, nutrients from the soil that are found in many foods. So as we're going through, those are some terms to remember. Let's look at vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin. Vitamin D is often called the sunshine vitamin. When sunshine falls directly on your skin, it forms vitamin D inside of your body. Now you need to be careful here. We don't want to have a sunburn, but we want to go outside. That's why we need fresh air and exercise every day, going outside. Now, not only do we need to get vitamin D through the sun, but we can get vitamin D through the foods we eat. If you look at the examples there, you have milk, cheese, eggs, fish, or meats, yes. Vitamin D helps your bones and teeth grow strong. So it's important that you are making sure you get enough vitamin D because your bones and teeth are still growing and filling in. So you wanna be sure that you're taking in enough to um, making sure that you have strong bones and strong, healthy teeth. Vitamin D does these things. It helps your body build strong bones and teeth, and it prevents diseases such as rickets. Well, let's look over at rickets. Some people who do not get enough vitamin D can develop rickets, and that is a disease that causes bones to become soft and bend. Don't, don't panic there. It's okay. I think that if you were having an issue with that by now, someone would know. So no panic. Don't hit the panic button. You're okay. All right. So vitamin D from sunshine, meats, and milk and cheese, some dairy there as well. Okay, let's turn over to uh, page 42, vitamin E. Vitamin E protects your cells from damage. It helps your body use the nutrients it gets from the body, from the foods you eat. Almonds, avocados, you've got fish there again, um, dark leafy greens, sweet potatoes. Oh, I should get enough vitamin E. I love sweet potatoes. Sunflower seeds, butternut squash, olive oil are all good sources of vitamin E. A lack of vitamin E can help, can keep your body from using other nutrients you need. Vitamin E does these things. Look at your little check box. It keeps nutrients from being destroyed. It helps your body use vitamin A. 
It helps your body fight off disease and it keeps your heart and skeletal muscles healthy. Now, the you looks like some almonds that are up there. Um, if you see those, are those beans? I'm not really sure which, let's see. Yeah, they're almonds, they are almonds. Now, if you're eating almonds for protein, you don't need to eat almonds for protein and almonds for vitamin E. You can just eat almonds and your body will absorb what it needs. So you don't have to eat almonds five or six times a day. You can just eat it once and it will provide a, um, a dual purpose. You'll get all the vitamins that your body needs. Let's look at vitamin K. Your body needs vitamin K to help your blood clot when you get a cut or scrape. And it helps keep your heart and bones healthy. When you eat green leafy vegetables, broccoli, yogurt, prunes, and asparagus, you are eating healthy amounts of vitamin K. If you do not have enough vitamin K, you may lose too much blood from even a small cut or scratch. And again, I think everybody's okay. No panics. I've seen pretty much most of you have a small cut and no one had an issue. So I think that we're all okay. Um, I, we had National Spinach Day last week. So if you're eating spinach, you should, you'll be fine. Um, the yogurt, I see a lot of you guys eating yogurt. So vitamin K does these things. Helps your blood to clot, that's important. Keeps your heart and bones healthy and it helps to prevent some types of cancer. Vitamin K, write some green leafy foods that would contain vitamin K. Well, we just talked about them. You have spinach, you have broccoli, cabbage. Okay, so you can write some examples there. Let's look at page 43. Minerals. What is a mineral? Minerals are nutrients from the soil that are found in many foods. Okay, so let's look at the top paragraph. This is interesting to me. Do you know that you eat the roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and seeds of plants? You eat the roots of carrots. What? We eat the root of a carrot? Look at the picture. What grows down in the ground? The carrot part. You're right. When you eat a sweet potato, what grows down in the ground? The sweet potato, you're right. So that is the root part of it. Uh, you eat the stems, of, excuse me one second. Okay, you eat the, um, stem, the stems of asparagus, the leaves of spinach and lettuce, and the flowers of broccoli and cauliflower, the seeds of beans, sunflowers, almonds and pecans. Wow, we take in all different parts of, a, of the flower when we eat different vegetables. It's, you know, sometimes you hear people refer to carrots and potatoes as root vegetables, and that's why, because they're the part that we eat, if it's underground, that's the root. That's hard to kind of put that together, that we're eating roots, but it's true, because that is what's holding the stem, the plant, in the ground. Um, let's keep on going to the second paragraph. Um, halfway through, your body gets minerals when you eat each part of a plant. Okay, minerals do all these things. Help build strong bones and teeth. Help broken bones to mend. Prevent tooth decay. You want to do that. Keep your blood healthy. Keep your Help your blood to clot. Help keep your heartbeat regular, your muscles to contract, they help you to relax, and they change food into energy. Wow. So those are important foods to eat there. Look at which part. Write root, stem, leaf, flower, or seed by these parts of plants you eat. Spinach. Right, we eat the leaf. Going across. Carrot. Yep, that's the root. It's the part that's underground. You pull up a carrot out of the ground. Sunflower, you're eating the seed. That's right. Beets, the root, the beet is underground. 
beans, the seed part, and asparagus, we just read, you're eating the stem part. Okay? Let's turn over to page 44. Calcium. Oh boy, this is an important one. Something that you need when you're young and then when you're continuing to grow and when you're older like Miss Upchurch, you need calcium. And then even when you're like your grandmother's age, like my mom's age, calcium is even more important as we grow older. Calcium is the most common mineral found in our body. And this is why it's so important. Your blood carries calcium to your bones and teeth to make them grow strong. And that doesn't stop. Now, my teeth and my bones are not growing anymore. Okay? I'm finished growing. But my bones still need calcium to make them strong. When I get older, you know, sometimes when people get older and they fall, they have broken bones. That's because the calcium is not there like it used to be, and those bones are not as strong. They're weaker. Do your parents tell you to drink plenty of milk? Milk is a good source of calcium. Let's look at the picture. You have some good sources of calcium. Oh, I see spinach again. So if you eat spinach in a salad, then you're getting calcium. And what did we just read? You are getting your vitamin K. And you are getting, let's see, your um, minerals in as well from the leaves. Yogurt also contains healthy amounts of calcium. You have cheese, shrimp fish there, yogurt, mm -hmm. so, uh, canned salmon, and green leafy vegetables. It is important that you get enough calcium in your diet every day. Some of these foods I know you may not like. I understand. I mean, everybody doesn't like everything, but we still need to be sure that we have a variety because a lot of these foods serves more than one purpose. All right? Eat smart. <sighs> some people think that ice cream is a good source of calcium because it's what? Frozen milk, right? Even though it does contain some calcium, do you think it is healthy to eat ice cream every day? Write and explain your answer. I know probably some of you are saying, mm -hmm, it's good for you every day. But unfortunately, no, it's not. And why? because it contains too much sugar. That's right. It is frozen milk. However, we do not need to eat it every day. Oh, Miss Upchurch said for me not to eat ice cream anymore. No, I didn't. Not eating it every day, but we can eat it in balance, in moderation, but it is not the best source of calcium. It's a, it's a tasty treat but not the best source of calcium. You know, grab a cheese um, stick or some a cheese wedge, you know, there. Make you a salad. You know, you can, oh, with a salad? Oh, my goodness. You can have your spinach, your lettuce, your cheese, your strawberries, your blueberries, your carrots. A salad is a wonderful source of getting all those fruits and vegetables. I love a salad. It puts in everything that I need. Okay? Look on page 45. We remember Harrison's um, knee um, x-ray he shared with us. Thank goodness there wasn't anything broken, but there's an x-ray. If you do not eat enough foods rich in calcium, or if your body does not absorb the calcium that you do not eat, your teeth and bones will not grow strong. Okay? Um, broken bones will take longer to heal. Oh, a lack of calcium may also cause your muscles to cramp. You may feel grouchy, and it may be hard for you to sit still. We don't want to feel grouchy, do we? You have learned that nutrients work together to keep you healthy. Even if one nutrient is missing, it affects how your body uses other ones. So skip down. A balanced diet helps each vitamin and mineral do what it is supposed to do. A lack of any of them keeps your body from working the way it should. Just eat a variety. Eat those colors, get that fresh air, sit outside, let the sun 
you know, you're on your skin for a little while. That process happens naturally. God's got it taken care of. He's got that body working just like it needs to. If you treat it right, you feed it, you nourish it, it will be fine. Just fine. Page 45 today is your little assignment. Just a five short, short uh, little sentences there, questions. So take the time now. Go back in your reading if you need to, to fill in page 45. And then when you're finished with that, we, woohoo, we are at our last subject for today, which is Friday. So we will go to history next. <music>